Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where today I got some infected gameplay from Infinite Warfare, which is the subject I'm going to be talking about today. So anyway, let's just start off saying that infected has been around since Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was technically um, my first Call of Duty game, and the reason why I say technically is because it was the very first Call of Duty game I have ever owned. It was the most recent Call of Duty game that had came out during that year, but at that same time, I also got Modern Warfare or Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is what was originally called the original Call of Duty 4 and it was during Christmas time so I got both those games that same year um, and so yeah Modern Warfare 3 was my first Call of Duty game and that was the very first Call of Duty game to introduce Infected which was an Infinity Ward game. Infinity Ward has always had the Infected game mode ever since. They had it in Call of Duty Ghost and they, now they have it here in Infinite Warfare and that Sledgehammer games for their first Call of Duty game that they made by themselves was Advanced Warfare and they brought Infected in there as well but we do see it here in Infinite Warfare. And I just want to talk about it a little bit. So, Infected, for some of you guys who may not even know what Infected is and may not have heard of it, I don't know because I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of Infected by now where everybody starts off on the same team there is this infected countdown timer which starts from like 15 seconds once it reaches zero someone randomly uh, in the lobby will become infected and they are on the other team and every time that person gets a kill they become on their team but of course the very first person getting infected um, actually starts off with a gun I think it's the same class as the like the survivors basically and once you get that kill with that gun you eventually just turn into a like just a normal combat knife and as well as a throwing knife and tact insertion so you can like choose where you want to spawn and once you place it down somewhere so yeah infected it's a pretty cool game mode it's a, i think it's a really really unique one that a lot of people enjoy playing and it also kind of sucks in a way it kind of makes people cheat when it comes to kd wise but in a way it also doesn't cheat in their kd and i'll get in that in just a second but personally, I really do like playing Infected. I think it's a pretty fun game mode. I remember playing it back in Modern Warfare 3. I'd be in custom game lobbies and th back then um, the Infected actually didn't have throwing knives, but then they did implement throwing knives. So like everybody would get into these like glitch spots, spots where like um, there's only one entrance to get from and like people will just camp in that one spot and just get a bunch of kills and then eventually get their Moab or something like that, right? Um, but then they eventually added throwing knives into Infected, um, which made it harder for people to survive, um, which wasn't really that big of a deal. I think it is a fair advantage for the Infected to get throwing knives because not everybody is very accurate when it comes to throwing knives. Some people are, but some, most people really aren't. And it's a really good game mode for getting nukes, you know, like Modern Warfare 3 was the MOAB, Call of Duty Ghost was the Chem Strike, Advanced Warfare, if you want to include that, um, was the DNA Strike, which I've never even earned, which really sucks. I've never earned that in a public match. And then, of course, we have the game the game mode in Infinite Warfare, where it's a Deatomizer Strike, which is pretty cool. Now... The one thing that really sucks about Infected is that people can really cheat when it comes to their KD in this game mode, and the reason why I say that is because playing Infected um, counts towards your KD, um, whatever your KD ratio is, um, for your, like, your actual character or account, I should say. And when I say cheating, like, you're going up against people who are just going knife only, right? And you have a shotgun, of course, and a secondary weapon, which is a pistol. And you can get easily, like, probably five kills in every single match, as long as you don't become the first one infected, right? And so it's... Yeah, like, you can easily uh, get your KD high um, just by playing Infected only, really. But the cool thing about that, that even though you might be cheating yourself to get a high KD by only playing Infected, the cool thing is is that you really don't earn that much XP when playing Infected. Now, of course, if you earn a Deatomizer Strike, you might earn a decent amount of XP, but if you were to earn a Deatomizer Strike in probably the game mode Domination or something, you'd probably earn more XP just because you might complete more challenges by doing that or something like that. And and you would get objective captures maybe like you would just get more XP and like playing a match of domination than you would playing a match of infected which I think is a good balance there even though you might be playing infected to get like a, maybe a high KD for your uh, like global KD anyway um, but you won't be earning that much XP which I think is a really good balance factor now I will admit I completely admit that sometimes I do play infected if things aren't going my way if I'm playing other game modes possibly team deathmatch domination or frontline or something like that if the like, things aren't going my way like I'm just doing terrible sometimes I would play infected 
just to so my KD doesn't actually get lower, which I know sounds really cheap, but I do kind of admit that I do that sometimes, but I also play Infected, not just because I want to get my KD higher, but just because it just feels good to get a bunch of kills, you know? Like, that's, I think that's what a lot of people, lot of re that's a good reason why a lot of people play Infected, is because it just feels good to get, like, easy kills, you know, against other players you're going up against, but, you know, playing as, as the Infected is pretty fun, too, even though you might die a bunch because you're going knife only, um, it's really, it's pretty fun, it's nice that actually trying to kill the uh, an enemy um, while they're using a the gun and you only have a combat knife and a throwing knife um, but infected pretty cool game mode um, just like just want to talk about it a little bit I think is pretty neat now they did actually disable infected well actually before I say that um, infected was actually not in the game when it first came out. It was on the beta version for the PlayStation, not for the Xbox, because I do play on Xbox. Um, but Infected was introduced into the full game when it was launched, but then they eventually added in. But then they eventually took Infected away because I think they wanted to fix some map glitches that a lot of people were doing, and those were super annoying, especially in hardcore mode. Then I think they like fixed some things for Infected, and then uh, they put it back in there, and now we can start playing again. They did the same thing with Capture the Flag. I do believe Capture the Flag is put back in Infinite Warfare as well. But Infected, pretty cool game mode, you don't earn very much XP from it, and I don't know if there's any challenges for playing Infected, there might, there might be like uh, game winning challenges and stuff like that, uh, but the cool thing about Infected, you guys, and this is something that I think a lot of people aim for, is trying to get that new, try to get that Deatominizer Strike, that's something I've always been trying to do, I've been always, I like, every time I play Infected, my goal is to try and get the 25 kill streak. Um, with the with whatever nuke it is in any game like it is like Call of Duty Ghost is the Chem Strike, where in this game is the Deatominizer Strike. Um, back in in Advanced Warfare, when they did have Infected, I was never able to earn myself uh, the DNA bomb in that game. Which oh my gosh, I can God, I cannot earn a DNA bomb in that game. But in this game, I'm gonna try and get myself a Deatominizer Strike and Infected, so I can get that Special Ops Calling card, you know, pretty easily. Cause I do, cause I don't have very many variants. Um, when it comes to, like, uh, weapon perks, like, as the nuke perk, right? I only have one weapon, which is a sniper, sadly, but it's the one sniper that can transform into an assault rifle, which is good. But, I mean, like, Infected is the best way to go if you're aiming for a Deatomizer Strike, is what I'm saying. But, anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a rating for you guys feel this video deserves. Don't forget to leave a like down below, as well as a comment. What do you guys think of Infected and subscribe for more content, mostly Call of Duty, perhaps I'd play some Battlefield, I still gotta make a guided video on the snipers um, whenever I can, so just stay tuned for that, and hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video, and I shall catch you guys later.